lots of work ahead of me on this one, guys. <clears throat> so before I actually strip everything down, I'm just getting the worst of it while the doors are hung. Start pulling everything apart tomorrow and a hell of a lot of work to restore the inside. These customers are pretty pumped about it, but it's gonna take a hot minute to get through all this and get all these dents and things and single stage runs out. And yeah, next is tearing apart this interior, filling some holes, finishing the rest of this part. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of rust holes everywhere, so going over, fixing everything. of body work to do on this bad boy. thing that we are keeping is that. Probably the only thing that's going to stay exactly the same. That is actually the original signage for this truck. guys, I just wanted to show you some test panels really quick. Uh, I wanted to show the customer three different styles of patina. One is achieved with chemical reactions, which is this blue patina here, and one is done with paint and airbrushing. So I've given him a couple different options, a combination of, so we can see visually what it would look like if we went any of those routes. Um, what I did on here, we are actually not going to do. I'm gonna tie in some blue to actually change the color and effect of this overall. So this was done with chemicals and down here was done via paint and airbrush. So we're gonna go more in this direction now that I've given him some visuals of what it can look like. So just curious what you guys like better. Do you like the chemical version or do you like the paint and airbrush version? Everybody has a different taste when it comes to patina. Um, but I am doing what the customer would like. So right here, this is the color that he really wants tied in. So we are going to be doing this kind of effect on the entire truck and then darkening, darkening this up and just dinging it out a little bit more, kind of similar to what we have down here. You know, play on all those factory rust lines and these this peeling filler and kind of building rust panels off of that. So yeah, there's a variety of effects. And we're just looking to recreate this age and weathering while tying in this baby blue that he had on his grandfather's 56 Ford. So it's kind of for sentimental purposes, but definitely uh, was enjoying playing around with these panels and showing him what we could do. <laughs> I'm Cheyenne Ruther. I'm here with this 1956 Ford F600 Rat Rod Crew Cab. 
So I just pulled it out of the paint booth last night. It's cured, it's all set up. Um, if you guys follow the post, you've seen the condition of what it was in before. The entire thing was rusted top to bottom, pitted all the way through. I came in, did a complete restoration on the interior, did it in the baby blue, the waterfall blue that Hodson Motorsports had a truck in 1956 that his grandfather owned and they wanted to tie in that um, as a little commemorative token to them. It was actually a single stage red prior. It was done with horsehair brush. There was runs all the way down it, rust holes, patches, all kinds of stuff that needed to be fixed. So I went in here, restored the entire thing in and out right before SEMA. After the SEMA crunch was done, we came and I started to tackle the exterior. So what we did is completely overhaul the exterior with patina, used some of the factory um, rust and basically tied in everything from there. So we did some of the drooping effect, a lot of airbrushing, um, some actual chemical weathering, as well as paint techniques. There's a lot of different things going on. We did actually keep the original badges and things that were on this truck to, to keep it as original as possible while enhancing it. The only thing that was actually originally left on this vehicle was the rims that they had done. Um, they were flash rusted just to get that effect and everything else has been layered up with paint, um, different chemical abrasions and adhesions and things like that that we're getting this effect with. Um, so I went over and enhanced a lot of the original damage and rust areas so we could kind of bring that and enhance it and actually use that to our advantage and make it a lot more natural. So this is some of the factory orange and red oxide that was actually on the body to begin with and kind of hazed in over top of it, did a lot of the dripping, the airbrushing, played with some of the messed up bodywork and the rivets and all the factory um, spot welds on here and really used that to enhance the damage and the rust and rot that was in this thing. A lot of people hate rat rods. They don't believe in doing faux patina, but when you do it in a way where it looks a little bit more natural and the techniques are done in a way where it doesn't feel like it's been painted over, I think that it, you know, you get a different effect. So a lot in the eye of the beholder um, when you do restorations i you know you get, get bored quick you do a restoration it's one color one thing you're blocking on it for a month and then that's it and it is beautiful and a lot of people have an appreciation for it but this definitely takes a different mindset to enjoy and appreciate it the way that i have so about a month went into all the prep the interior restoration and all the airbrushing and stacking layers effects so definitely a lot of hours go into these types of jobs depending on where you want to draw the line really there's no end in sight you could go for two months on this thing you could go for a week um, it really depends on where you want to draw the line so these customers have been really great um, they kind of got progress shots as we were going they said keep adding blue let's go deeper let's go more and that's what I did it just kept going using all the factory welds where the fenders had been stretched out um, enhancing a lot of these weld lines and then creating some effects with paint where we could enhance where things were spliced in, where they had this back window put in, and where the crew cab was stretched out. So if you check out the roof and on top, we played a lot with these factory lines and kind of used that to tie in that baby blue. It's a huge contrast um, to what you would have normally seen on this truck had you seen it prior to getting into the paint booth. The entire truck was basically this color and then we just tied in the blue and started aging it down from there. So originally they came in just for these cab corners to be replaced and then decided to do a full overhaul on the body. The interior was restored at this point, so we spliced this in and instead of shaving it all down and doing body work on it and blending over top, we decided to use that as a little bit of a Frankenstein, enhance that and then play off the rust. So even though we do have gaping rust holes over here, we did replace the cab corners so we didn't have any more rot and then keeping water from going down these panels and rotting down this floorboard a little bit more. Hi, I'm Cheyenne Ruther with Nefarious Customs. I'm the lead auto body technician. I do custom refinishing on all types of stuff, hot rods, rat rods, classics, resto mods. And if you wanna see a little bit more of what we do here, make sure you click like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can definitely check out some more of our builds and what we have going on.